mathematicians. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Ms. Tribbett and I teach first grade at Lyons School. And today I'm gonna to teach you about tally marks or tallies. Some people say tally marks, some people say tallies. It's talking about the same thing. So tallies are an amazing way to keep track of your counting. And it's an even better way to keep track when you have to add on more and more. Like last summer when I was having a cookout with my family, I needed to know how many people wanted to eat a hamburger or a cheeseburger. So I went around and asked everyone and I added a tally next to hamburger for everyone that wanted a hamburger and added a tally next to cheeseburger for those cheeseburger lovers. And at the end, I was able to know the total amount of each one that we needed. So let me teach you how to make tallies because there's a special way that you're going to make tally marks using vertical lines. And then there's this really special thing that you do on the fifth tally mark. Let me read you this poem to help you understand. Tally marks. One, two, three, four. Number five shuts the door. Six, seven, eight, nine. Number 10 draws the line. So each time you make a tally mark, you're gonna draw a vertical line straight down. One, two, three, four. And then that fifth one is where you get to shut the door. That means it's a diagonal line. Number five shuts the door. Okay, here's our next set. We wanna leave a little space in between it. We don't want it to connect to the one before. So leave a little space, six, seven, eight, nine. Here comes the diagonal. Number 10 draws the line. Now I also want to show you how we can go back and count these tallies. So here is our first one. We would call that the first tally mark. Here's the second one. That's number two. Here's the third, number three. The fourth, number four, and then this fifth one diagonal tells us that this whole group is a total of five. It's the same thing if we keep counting on here. This would be number six, number seven, number eight. Here's our ninth tally mark. And then number 10 draws the line, telling us this whole next group is five more, which means we have 10. And that's the cool thing about tallies is you can count by fives. Five, 10. Okay, mathematicians. Now let's practice making those tally marks by pretending that you just picked up a giant heavy marker. All right, you got your giant heavy marker in your arm? Hold it tight with your hand. Make sure you got a lot of room. We're gonna start by making vertical lines. Now remember, vertical goes up and down. Pretend you're on an elevator. All right, count with me as we make those four vertical lines. One, two, three, four, five. Wait! to make the fifth tally mark a diagonal line? <sighs> Thanks for the reminder. Okay, ready for our next set? Get your big heavy marker. Here we go. Six, seven, eight, nine. Number 10 draws the line. That was awesome. You're gonna keep practicing making your tally marks. Have fun.